Hi guys, this is Chris Brigandi from Brigandi Coins Collectibles in New York City. Um, I have an incredible item to show you today. I have a single signed baseball from Elston Howard. Um, if you don't know Elston Howard, he's a New York Yankee through the 50s and 60s. Um, he's not a Hall of Famer, so he's not you know a common household name. But if you're a Yankee fan, you'll know number 32 is retired in Monument Park and there's a plaque for Elston Howard. Um, I want to take a close look at this ball here. Um, it's a single signed ball. Um, what's special about Elston Howard uh, baseballs is, for one, they're extremely rare in any condition. But number two, this is the finest Elston Howard uh, single sign baseball extant. You'll see it's a beautiful uh, blue signature with a clean white uh, background on the ball. It's been PSA graded nine. Uh, I've seen other Elston Howard single sign baseballs in auction, though they come up very rarely. When they do, they are always on the uh, side panel, meaning up here or on the side. He never really signed on the sweet spot. There's a few other on the sweet spot. This is by far the best of, their, of the quality. In total, probably about 10 to 15 exist totally. Of those 15, obviously this is the best. Of those 15, maybe five are in decent condition. The other 10 are really really faded signatures and the balls are always browned yellow stained etc i'm sure you know what i mean if you've ever seen one in auction before even stained ones even ones that are faded sell always for five six seven thousand dollars just for you know a, a signature you could barely read um elston is really popular on a single sign ball and everyone needs him that's collecting the yankee retired number collection a uh, little background about Elston Howard. He lived, um, he's from New Jersey, or he lived in New Jersey when he played for the Yankees. Uh, this is, we have a Topps card here. This is a 59 Topps card on him. So he joined the Yankees in 1955. Uh, he is also known as the, or he also is the first uh, black Yankee ever. Uh, the Yankees were the eighth of 13 teams at the time to cross the color barrier. Uh, Jackie Robinson, 1947, the first obviously. But the Yankees were a little slower in uh, of all the teams. So they were eighth on the list in 1955. Uh, Elston Howard, again, a beautiful signature. Uh, a really great item we just got in. I wanted to show you before it left because we, we had it for about a week and it sold already. That's how in demand these things are. So thanks for taking a look. If you have any questions, just comment um, and don't be afraid to share this.